So today's kind of special. As you can see here, we have a couple boxes. This is kind of like, you know, the icing on top of the cake of what we've been all working hard on. This actually is a box that we received from overseas, which is um, our equipment. So we have not seen the final production pieces. And so we're gonna unbox it together and kind of see. And first thing I see is Ooh. we have our knee sleeves. So wrist wraps. Ooh. I need new wrist wraps. This is the final, final that's gonna be going out to people. Yeah, this is the production run that beforehand, usually everything is pre-approved. We usually have samples that we correct along the way, but this, what you're getting, is what the audience is gonna be getting. So here is the Ollie's. Yeah. Ollie's, what are Ollie's? Olympic straps. Oh, it says barrel brigade. For a second, I thought there was oh. something. <laughs> you're that scared, is, Marie. No, no, no that, that happened to us one time. So it says yeah. barrel brigade one yeah. time? Yeah. We had some beanies made and the label, you know, there were so many checkpoints that we all kind of missed where it was misspelled and we had like 10,000 labels on it. So that wasn't very pleasant. As you saw from the last episode, uh, you probably saw or caught a glimpse of what was on the table. These are the shin guards that we've been working on and the boxing gloves. Two different vendors. So these were two different submissions. We checked for placement of the quality of the patches and also the placement of the graphic on each one. And here, we just kind of check for like print quality, if everything's aligned, everything's centered, just to make sure that come production time, it's gonna look perfect the way you guys see it. So Bart started boxing lately, he started training. He came up with this idea like, hey, Barbell should do this. And we're like, okay, what kind of colors do you like? You know, what, what kind of you know, shin guards do you like? So we start with um, ordering a couple samples from his favorite quality. And then from there, I go straight into sourcing of, you know, counter sourcing all the qualities based on what he kind of likes. And then from there, we hone in on the colors and kind of like decide from there, oh, white on white doesn't work. So we're gonna go black binding on white. And then from there, you kind of see like the fleshed out prototypes here that kind of takes like, two to three turns before we finalize everything and we hit production. I'm not sure if you guys have seen another sneak peek of what we've been working on. We will be coming out with this slide sometime next year. And then also it would be nice to follow it up with some training shoes to kind of elevate the whole outfit from head to toe. So are you promising training shoes for, for the viewers right now? Absolutely may not be next year, but it could possibly be for the year after. I'm Derek, I, I do customer service, and I also run the website. So for the website, I'll get it ready for launches. I put up the products. I basically gather all, all the product shots, all the you know quantities, everything, put it on the website, make it look nice. It's absolutely like the holidays, um, Black Friday specifically, and then you know like around Christmas season as well. Man, we get so many, so many orders during that time. You know, last year was really crazy. Um, the year before that was even crazier. But this year, I know for sure it, it's gonna be like insane just because, you know, we're having so many different things being released. I haven't gotten too much done so far. <laughs> what, what day is today? What day? Uh, let's see, what day is today? Today is November 5th. I think we're gonna have our sale in like less than three weeks, so. I got a lot of work to do. <laughs> but I mean, like, you know, I still got time. I work pretty quickly, so uh, by the time it comes around, you know, the, everything should be ready and um, nothing should feel rushed, so. I walked into the wrong warehouse. So I walked over there and I'm like, oh, I'm here for Barbell Brigade. And he's like, who? And I'm like, you ship all of our clothes. And he's like, never heard of you guys before. I'm like, this. And he goes, nope. And I'm like, you didn't just see a group of people walk in? And he's like, no. And then he started freaking out. He's like, there's a group of people in here? He starts looking around, and I'm like, I think I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> yeah, it's probably like, maybe you fucked up. Yeah. What up, guys? Today, we are at our warehouse, and we're packing mystery box number two. This is one of the most highly requested items on the website. I think based off of the sales of the first one, everyone's like, do another one! And unfortunately, it did take a long time, but as you can see, we have a ton of good shit in here, which is why it took a little bit longer, so I think it's worth the wait, because we got flags, sticker packs, custom bandanas, shirts that aren't even available on the website. So there's a lot of things that we're trying to make to pack it full of value, and it's all fine. Here. It took a long time, but we did tell them that it's going to come in November. That's true, we did tell you guys, so uh, if you guys are impatient, then that's fucked up. We told you that in November it's going to come in, it is finally November, so now we're going to pack them today. How much do they spend per box? 
100. Damn, all right, so you guys are getting $300 worth of shit per box and you only spent 100 bucks. I think that's why we're gonna go out of business, but hey, you guys are gonna have mystery box and it's gonna be pretty tight. Yo, Derek. Yeah. So, since we did warn people that this is coming out in November, but people, since they ordered it, have been harassing us. <laughs> How many emails have you gotten about the mystery box? Uh, a million. <laughs> a million, a million. A million yeah. every day. Yeah, and uh, what, what, what's your response to them? It's coming out in November. <laughs> we did warn you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, are, you, are you finally happy that it's here and then you can yeah, absolutely. not get the yeah. emails anymore? Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, it was a lot of a lot to deal with, but you know, I understand. Yeah. You know, people are waiting for this stuff. But. People don't understand that this is the face behind the email that you guys are sending, so if you guys <laughs> send a mean me email, <laughs> this nice face is gonna have to deal with it. Every box might be a little different because we wanna be able to actually create different boxes every time. This isn't meant to be like some repetitive freaking monthly thing like most people do, but So the next mystery box. It could be like even crazier, yeah, but it could be crazier, it could be like something that's cheaper. People, but if people but post it, they're not going to get what yeah. we gave them this time. Yeah, we just want to be able to keep the creative side in our control so that we can do doper boxes every time. Um, but that also, so mean, it's like if people buy it again, they're not getting the same stuff. Right, right. Yeah. It's going to be completely unique boxes every time, so yeah, it'll be great. Maria, are you pretty excited about what's oh, in the box? Real? Yeah. Yes, because finally awesome. everybody's going to get what they've been waiting <laughs> for. Why sh Because no one really knows what's going in the mystery boxes going out. Yeah, I don't even know what's inside. Exactly, so. But I should, I feel like. I do, I'm not, I can't say anything, so. Oh, okay. cool. What up, what's how, going on? How do you feel like Marie is keeping a secret? How do you feel about that? Oh, man. Well, we always try to keep it under wraps. Oh, but you designed them. Yeah, yeah. Them, so. no, we designed them. We, yeah, all yeah. Had a, we all had a hand in this. So it's like, you already know what's going inside. Yeah, I already know. It's not a surprise for me. So the design team, the apparel and graphics knows what's going on besides we don't know shit. That's right. <laughs> you but, will after watching this video. <laughs> so can, can I tilt this camera down? Or no, no, you uh, can't. Uh, <laughs> not yet. Fucking bitch. The first box I folded, I already cut myself. See, I'll tell you, I'm not, I'm not fit for this. Someone's doing shit. Hey, get to work, man. I know. Dude, I don't even know how to do this. Put, put it in here? Okay. Stick it in here? Stick, no, do the sides first. And then stick it over. Oh, good. Yeah. Just testing at, you know, like, oh, fuck. What, what the fuck is going on? Oh, <laughs> bitch. Oh, dude, I'm getting fucked <laughs> up, dude. This is one box, bro. You got baby hands, I got dude. fucking two cuts oh, already. Shit. Let me see. <laughs> I got one right here. Hold on. Yeah. Where? Right there! That's one. Oh, okay. Now I see it. And I got another one. You know, paper cuts, the blood takes a while. Yeah. What the fuck? Wow. <laughs> Must be those baby hands, man. What have you been training for? These this hands time? are made for boxing. <laughs> you are boxing. Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh, getting roasted left and right. <laughs> 